in a long line of extremely reliable off-road rugged vehicles there's the Land Cruiser! <laughs> Welcome to Andy's Auto. We're going to change the oil in the Lexus today. It's going to be fun. It's going to be thrilling. You're going to love this. You'll never forget it. It's going to be the high point of your week. Really not. It's probably going to be really boring. We'll try and make it interesting. Try. All right. I'm going to go get the car, pull it in the garage, and we'll get started. All right, we want all the old oil to come out pretty easy. It's about 45 degrees outside, so I'm gonna let it warm up for a minute or two. Okay, of course, this is the Lexus uh, LX470. It's a 2003 Series 100. When I first bought the car, I bought the Haynes manual for it. Oh, by the way, the Series 100 Toyota Land Cruiser, that's actually the Haynes manual I got. 98 to 2007. Um, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, in other countries, there was variations in the engine. Uh, here in the United States, I believe 4.7 was your only choice. Now, this 4.7 engine is notorious. Uh, it has a couple of examples that have gone a million miles with like no, no uh, rebuilds or anything major done to the engine itself. Now, I will say that as I've owned this car and as I've broke various pieces down to do regular maintenance on it, I have found a couple of flaws uh, that other people have reported also, but these are very, very minor things. The engine itself is a tank. This thing has run really well. This example almost has 330,000 miles on it. Uh, I just, I drive it everywhere. I have no issues. I drive it anywhere in the nation as long as there was enough gas to get there. That is one of the flaws. It gets horrible gas mileage, but that's cool. It's a huge vehicle, right? What are you going to do? Okay, before we get started, let's talk safety. And uh, when changing the oil, you know, you do have to be mindful of a couple of things, right? Let's get some gear on. Okay, now that we got our gear on, we're ready to go. Okay, uh, to be serious about safety, I do have safety goggles, um, gloves, um, protect my arms. Uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, don't wear any loose clothing. Um, you know, you get the point. Just be safe. Anyways, so this engine uh, is running about 3,500 miles on this oil change that, you know, whether or not, you know, your religion says that that's behind or ahead, I don't care. You can write your opinions in the comments. I, I went 3,500 miles. Anyways, so what I usually do first is check to see if I burned any oil. And in this case, I'm sitting at one quarter or three quarter down. And I really can't honestly say on this oil change if that was the result of the engine burning off oil because we actually had some surgery that we had to do to the engine which would have pulled oil out of the engine a little tad bit and then we also had a leak that we knew about that we fixed. So taking those things into consideration, yeah it's probably burned a little bit of oil but to the extent, I, I don't know. And it's falling apart. Did you hear that? <laughs> love this car all right let's talk oil if you've already bought the oil and the filter just skip ahead a minute in the video all right what oil would you pick for a 330,000 mile vehicle this is this is just overwhelming there's too much there's just too much and then there's the filters different grades different brands so much fun I picked what I bought the first time because I have a sacrificial five quart which means there's probably only about three and a half quarts left in it I don't want to buy two five quarts so bam this is what chose what I chose what it was chosen what was chosen for it anyways and then just a regular old Fram filter I'm not like hypersensitive about the oil I know some people are very religious about it it's almost like politics or philosophy forum. I actually was given a lecture in the oil aisle once by a guy who was sure that my vehicle was going to explode if I used the oil that I had put in my shopping cart, which I don't know. I think it was a mobile one or something like that. It depends. I don't know. It was 
<laughs> it was normal oil. Anyways, this guy was freaking out on me. I was like, Jesus, man, I don't want to see you at a political rally. Good God. All right. So anyways, we're going to get into the oil change now. All right, excuse how dirty it is in here. I haven't washed it off since we went mudding, but I usually loosen this. I don't take it all the way off. I just leave it sitting there in case it needs to get some air. All right, here we go. This skid plate here, man. Ah, oh, yeah, it's been, it's had better days. Anyways, so uh, we're gonna replace it this summer. Um, like and subscribe and maybe you can join me for that adventure. All right, we're gonna make it on our own. There's the oil filter. If you step on back, you can see where it's located. See those pretty shocks? Mm -hmm. And then, yep, I ripped up that one too. And then back here is the plug. Very, very easy. There should be a plate over this, but um, obviously it's, it's not there. And there should be a piece there and there should be stuff up here and it's all gone. But uh, you know, it's all in the name of fun. All right, we're gonna use a 14 mil, 14 millimeter. And set it on there. Okay, so there, just get it loose. Now we're gonna get ourselves out of here and go get the drain pan. Now to drain the oil, I like to use this uh, old tote here. And again, got the gloves on, got the glasses on. God knows I need the glasses to work on this vehicle because holy moly, it's got so much dirt under it. I have not washed it since the last time I went out. And so anyways, here's gonna be the mad dash to there. Perfect. So while the oil is draining, I'm gonna go ahead and prep out the filter. And yes, if you see the engine bay and it's messy, yes, I know it's messy. Don't tell me it's messy. I know, I know, mom. God, clean my room later. I'm playing with my friends. All right, anyways. Got that all lubed up. All right, and like uh, most religions, we have a funnel in this religion. That's the oil change religion. Anyway, so uh, I really like this. It's the uh, diesel exhaust fuel, and it just gives me plenty of space to mess up because that exhaust manifold is like right there, and if I spill stuff on it, it stinks. I hate that smell. Anyway, so I love this, and I clean it out every time by running a rag through it because God knows if my kids had got a hold of it and used it for like something like sand. All right, no, they didn't. I keep it up real high, but I still clean it out nonetheless because I have conspiracy theories. I'm just kidding. All right, I always take an opportunity to look at this dude. The oil is stuck on it. There's no sludge. This is good. Okay, there was probably a huge gasp uh, when folks saw me just go ahead and let the boat fall in here. I didn't have like a mesh over this to catch it, so now I get to go fishing for it. And uh, I just have to have this like nice little magnet that has saved my butt many a times um, with sockets. Comes in real handy right here. Oil filter wrenches, right? Um, Kind of a, a little bit of a religion, but uh, anyways, there's this kind here that fits on here snug and you pull and it goes, right? And you've always got to have it the right way depending on whether you're tightening or loosening. So it's kind of a little bit of uh, sorcery there to get that to work. Or you can just get a pair of pliers like this. It's meant for oil filter, among other things. This thing has been used to do some fencing work as well. And it just grips on there like so. It's got several different tooth positions. So you can see, whoops, you can see that it grips it outer edge like that. Or once you bring it out a little bit, it, all, all the teeth are grabbing. Anyways, I, I like this thing. I use the heck out of this thing. These, um, these are around in case somebody needs to borrow one because they never return them. They're sacrificial. All right, I'm going to apologize in advance because it's so dark under here. But basically all we're going to do is grab this dude right like so and turn it 
a little bit. Come on, buddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have a winner! This dude is not going to want to come off. Who put this on last? Oh, no. There it goes. Holy moly, that scared me. Oh my goodness. There we go. Wow. I put that on last time and I know I screwed it on a quarter turn past tight hand tight okay there we go man that was a little bit of drama all right one thing to note about this engine is that the way that the oil filter is positioned it does like to drizzle for a long time let's move that there okay so just to put the new oil filter on and then position it and just start spinning it until it catches and there it goes all right there is hand tight okay and then i'm going to use the other pipe to tighten this in because i have a feeling an eighth. come on buddy There we go. Let's make sure it doesn't just pop off. Good, good. All right, done. Now we just need to add oil. All right, now that we have the drain plug on and the oil filter on, it's time to go ahead and add some oil. And again, I'm doing you know a disservice to some religions by using this oil, but there we go. All right, and that's why I love this friggin' funnel. Man, I you know, if I had, that would have gone everywhere if I didn't have this. But I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Anyway, so we're going to add this entire five quarts, and then we'll add enough to top it off. And then we'll start it up and run it for a little while. And then we will stop, take a reading again, and then top it off. While this thing is warming up and oil doing its oil thing, um, this summer, this summer I'm going to make a bumper for this thing. So like and subscribe, follow, whatever. I think it's subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're able to pull off making our own front and back bumper uh, spring, summer, or sometime in there. Uh, hopefully, you know, get out to the ORV park here real soon, get some good videos. I need to get some new tires, so I'm going to go over what that looks like, probably lube the chassis. Um, and then I also have a thump that's happening on all four corners, so we need to investigate that. I'll post that. And then I'm um, going to go over how to do a brake job. And I think that's about it. But, you know, if you have anything you want me to cover, go ahead and put it in the comments, and I'll try and get to it uh, spring and summer. Anyways, like and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me while I did this. We're taking her out on our maiden voyage after we've changed the oil. Hey, thanks a lot for watching, joining me on um, the oil change adventure. And uh, if you have any comments, please put them in the uh, comment section. Like and subscribe, please. And uh, we'll be bringing you more videos about uh, other crap, stuff, stuff, other stuff, fun stuff. <laughs> All right. Have a good day.